I'll tell you what, guys, we half mix things up on this channel. One minute we're going to Michelin star restaurants, then we end up in Costco's. And today, three o'clock in the morning, where are we? We've come to Billingsgate Market. Now, Billingsgate Market is the largest fish market here in London. And do you know what we're here for? We're here for a bit of breakfast. Well, we would be, wouldn't we? Three o'clock in the morning. Oh, dear me. Now, they do an actually different kind of breakfast here. So, you, well, they do a breakfast, but they also include a fair bit of fish. And the fish can't get any fresher, can it? The other thing that's quite interesting, just over there is a van. On it, it says Poppy's Fish and Chips. Now, we've actually got that on our list to do in the future. We know where they get their fish and chips from, don't we? Or their fish from, at least. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's actually quite a nice uh, morning. The only problem is it's, it's three o'clock in the morning. Not a good time, is it? We really do some strange things on this channel. Hmm. Now, I can't wait to actually see some fish. We're going to have a quick look around the market as well. As always, let's give it a go. Do you know what? I'm actually feeling quite... Oh, here we go. Come on. Let's go. Ah, back again. Seems I got here a little bit too early. Calf doesn't open until four o'clock in the morning. I could have had a bit more beauty sleep. I'm having a look around. First time in central London, I've seen loads of seagulls. There must be some fish here. So I'll see you about four o'clock. Oh, I'm going back to sleep. I need my beauty sleep. Okay, I'm just having a little look around while I'm just waiting for the calf to open. Now, it's very difficult to drive in London sometimes. The roads are really busy and all the rest of it. However, take a look at this traffic light system. If that doesn't confuse you, nothing will. But it's green, so let's go. Actually, it's red. Stop. It's yellow. Green. Red. No. Here we are inside. It's a little bit loud in here. You'd expect it because it's a market, it's bustling, and everything about it. Um, obviously, take a look around the images of the market. My Lord, there is some completely amazing varieties of different fish and all the rest of it. And I'm actually going to go back in and I'm going to pick some stuff up. Now, we're here in the calf. Now, what can I say? Chap behind the counter, his name's Shimmy. He just turned around and said, Gary, he goes, I recognize you. And so he said, um, I actually done your breakfast at Terry's Calf. Huh? So he does here, and then he does Terry's Cafe, and he does loads of other places as well. So shout out to you, Shimmy. And what I've ordered, I've ordered the breakfast there. That's £10. It comes with a tea, and it comes with uh, toast as well. And I've ordered something a little bit different, something special. Wait until it arrives, and I'll tell you all about it. Mmm. Right, the breakfast has arrived. Guys, I can only actually film at this angle because it's really busy in here, lots of people around. Before I actually get onto the breakfast, you've got to see the memorabilia on the wall. There's all pictures from the, from the past and loads of history and obviously all pictures of the people who used to work here. Now I've had set menu too. Take a look at the size on that. Look at this. It's a mountain, a river of beans there. Two eggs, a couple of sausages, bacon, hash browns, I was going to go for the full English, obviously a lot bigger, and I was like, God, no, I can't do that because it'd be too much this early in the morning. It comes with toast and a mug of Rosie Lee. What else did I get? Let me move this here. Let me bring this over to you. Take a look at that. Bacon and scallops in a nice crusty roll. Smell. Oh my lord. 
I mean, look at that for a portion. That's mad. Where do I start? I'm gonna I'm gonna start here. I wanna I wanna try one of their fresh scallops. Four o'clock in the morning. Mm. Definitely the earliest breakfast I can remember having. So let's move that just there. And let's have this here. Dive in. I'm not gonna put any sauce on. I wanna feel the richness of them scallops coming through with the bacon. Woohoo! Oh, big smile on my face here. So what I wanna do, I wanna take a chunk out of the scallop, the bacon, roll and see what it all tastes like. Mm. I'm in heaven. Guys, that combination, that scallop in there, it's a bit in, it's creamy. Oh, it's, it's a taste to see, but I'll tell you what is so clever with that, is the bacon itself, because the bacon's smoky, so you've got the saltiness of the bacon, which is enhancing the creaminess of them scallops. That is something I never ever, ever thought of actually trying with scallops and bacon in a roll for breakfast. Last thing on my mind, that is a brilliant invention. To me, top, top draw. That's my new favorite breakfast. I don't know what else to say. You do not need to add anything to this. So don't bother putting any seasoning. It does not need any salt, because as I said, the bacon's salty. It's, the bacon is like real well. I'm gonna, I'll come on to the bacon when I'm on here. It's obviously exactly the same. But these guys, look at this. Mm. Soft, creamy. Oh, dear me. You cannot go anywhere and get fresher scallops than where we are today. Billingsgate Market, wow. That's just a wow. Right, let's get this, sort it all over. And let's have a look at this breakfast because again, for 10 pound, let's go through it. Let's move it. Can't wait to go back to you. That's great. So here is my set two. As I said earlier, a mountain of, a mountain of beans, a couple of eggs, a couple of sausages, a few slices of bacon, three hash browns. So you've got your toast there as well, which is already buttered and your, your mug of tea. 10 pound, that is a big plateful. Where we're gonna start, as always, I, I like to start with the eggs and let's see how the eggs are cooked. Look at that. That, to me, is the perfect egg. I'm actually gonna have that with a little hash brown. Now, I know loads of you say no hash brown should be on breakfast. I honestly don't mind. Well, hash browns with the crispiness on the outside. Don't ever get that, do I? As I said, the egg is cooked exactly as I like it, but the hash brown, now normally you can hear that, nice and crispy. Now I keep going places and having breakfast and I'm really disappointed with the hash browns. No disappointment there. And what I think makes the breakfast, as always, is a good sausage. Let's cut in. See the herbs in that sausage. That's a Cumberland sausage. Let, well, let's just dive in. Hmm. Meaty, packed full of flavor. As I said, meaty, real hearty sausage. I want you to take a look, that is packed full of meat. I like the, the skin you cut in, there's a bite to that skin as well. That is a good sausage. That's not a good sausage, that's a really good sausage. Let's try some of the bacon. Now, I already know this is smoked bacon, only because when I had it with the scallops, there's a saltiness with the bacon. Mm. Yeah. Again, take a look on that. Nice fat content on the bacon. A little crispness to it and the saltiness as well where it's smoked 
I do like my smoked bacon. Again, it's what you want. On a breakfast, you want a really nice sausage, you want your eggs cooked perfectly, and you want that bacon to come in and really hit that mark. And that's hit the mark spot on. So have my toast. Now, as I said, that's already buttered. I imagine if you don't want your toast buttered, then just ask them, they won't do that. Let's try some of the beans. Now, that is a river of beans, lots and lots of them. That's just not your normal sliced bread that comes. That is proper, proper breakfast bread. What can I say? Value, 10 pound. 10 pound for that. I'm looking out the window there. We've got Canary Tower there. It's major banking institutions, KPLG, you name them, they're all there. So there's a lot of money around this area. And come here, had some of the freshest ingredients I've ever had on a breakfast for 10 pound. And this guy here, seven pound. Okay, it's a little bit early in the morning, I've got to agree, but we still come in here at 9.30 in the morning. So this place is still open in the morning. So if you're in the area, what do you want? If you want freshness, you want quality, there's nowhere else to come really, is there? This is my first time here. And this is the first time I was like, shall I come, shall I, it's a bit early and all the rest of it. Do you know what, I will be back. I've got to be honest, it won't be back at three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. I would come back and have this breakfast to start my day because it's such a huge quantity. But more importantly, quality. Tea, toast, and all that, 10 pound. No, no, stop, that's, uh, I'm stunned. I'm not too stunned to actually dive in here. I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in a minute. No wonder this place is so busy. You know, and it's not just busy with guys who are working um, out in the market. I imagine they'll come in here sort of six, seven, eight o'clock, but again, full of, I'm gonna say regulars, people in the know, people know I've got to come here because what's, well, what's available. Right, I'm gonna tuck in. You can tell I'm enjoying myself here. And I I've been a little wander around the market, so I know I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna buy some stuff as well. Yep, yeah, I'm excited, I'm enjoying myself. I'm a little bit tired. But I was not that tired, let's dive in. Okay, I'm wading my way through here. Now, if you take a look at the menu there, you're gonna have sea bash, you're gonna have kippers, you've got fish selection there. Now, when you're at Billingsgate Market, you've gotta have fish, and that's why I went for the scallops. However, brilliant range of other fish there. So take a look, so it just gives you more options. So if you're coming here, and you want something a little bit different for breakfast, you've got it, you've got it all. It's all going on, okay. I'm struggling my way through, but I'll see you soon. And I've still got a smile on my face. Cheers. But you know, I'm actually gonna relax. It's very early in the morning. The sun's coming up now as well. Do you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna get myself another mug of uh, tea. Then I'm gonna have a wander around the market, and I'm gonna see you outside. And I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. It's very early, as I keep saying. But I have got a hell of a smile on my face. Really, really pleased with this one. Another cup of tea. Some are very jovial in the background. Here we go. Guys, this place is so big. And I mean everything, every variety of fish. But come over here for a second. Look, you've got boxes and boxes of fish. So if you want to buy it by the box, you can buy it by the box. But what is interesting, you just want to buy one. Just want to buy a fish and what have you, no problem at all. And it seems so, well it doesn't seem, it is so cheap as well. Unbelievable, I've got to get myself some scallops. See you guys shortly. Right, so I've had a major look around, up and down, up and down, met some amazing characters. This place is definitely full of characters. And so, behind me, live scallops, 12 for 10 quid. So I'm gonna nip over, I'm gonna get myself a dozen, and I'll see you guys outside. Bit of sleepwalking there, no sleepwalking at all. You can see me, I've got a smile on my face. I'm wide awake. You know why I'm wide awake? Walking through Billingsgate Market. Such a buzz, 
yeah, I've got this, got that, got this, got... And then everyone's going and you're like, whoa, 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 let's go here. Oh, I don't know where to go, I don't know where to go. Such an range of fish, different shellfish, you name it, they've got it. And you know, they're a lovely bunch of people as well. You know, real characters. You can tell they've been there for ages. And when you go into the cafe itself, on the wall, all these pictures of people in bygone days where we used to work in the market. Oh, yeah, a little bit of nostalgia, a little bit of history there. And you can see people who really care. The people who are in that marketplace really care. And the people who are in the cafe, they really care as well. You can hear the, you know, them all talking, the buzz. Right, mate, yeah, I'll have that. No, whoa, well, yeah, here we go. And it's kind of like, oh, and you're getting carried away with it yourself. And you're, oh, it's such good fun. What can I say about the breakfast? You know, set two I had. Set two, love the sausages, love the eggs. Cumberland sausages as well, quality sausages. You saw the bacon, yes. Smokiness with the bacon, a river. And it was a huge amount of beans. There was loads and loads of beans. And the hash browns, oh yeah. The hash browns, for the first time, crispy. Crispy hash browns. I love the bread. Nice cup of tea as well. And you've got to bear in mind, that was 10 pound. That was 10 pound. That was a hearty breakfast, especially for four o'clock in the morning. You know, it's, it's a little bit heavy at four o'clock in the morning. However, got to say a lot of quality on that plate. A lot of quality. And if you actually wanted something a little bit, you know, different, as I said, you can have seafood. You know, you know there's a whole range of fish. Kippers, you know, and I, I do like my kippers. Got to be in the mood for kippers, though. Then it moves on to that roll. That was a star. Oh, and me, the scallops in there. Sweetness, the sweetness of the scallops, then you bit in, they're creamy, and then you've got the saltiness of the bacon, and you bite into that crusty roll. Heaven, seven pound. Total, 17 pound. Oh, unreal. What marks I'm gonna give it? Hmm. I had a lot of fun today. I had a lot of fun. Was it the best, best breakfast I've ever had? No, it wasn't quite there as the best breakfast. It was totally different. I'm gonna give it a nine and a half out of 10. A nine and a half out of 10. I super highly recommend coming here. Billingsgate Market, it's, it's vibrant, it's fun. The calf itself, have a wander around the market. If you like your fish, this is obviously the place to come. And then into that calf, that's perfect. Love to hear your comments. Have you been to Billingsgate Market? If you have, let me know. What do you think of the video today? Was that a bit of fun getting up? Oh, I was up super early. Oh dear me, I'll tell you where I was uh, yesterday as well. I went to Ireland, done a little bit of surveillance over in Ireland. What am I gonna, where am I gonna go? Because we're going to Ireland very, very soon. Got back quite late last night. So it's been a long, long trek. If you can like and subscribe to the channel, you know, I always appreciate that. And until next time, bye bye. And I've got to get me scallops because I bought loads of them. Let's go.